guys, welcome back to Max Reaction. How are you doing today? How's the MRA members doing? I hope you've had a great day. And if you're not an MRA member, you should be, and you should be ashamed of yourself. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Become an MRA member because we got exciting things happening soon. Once we hit those 1,000 subscribers, we're gonna do gift card giveaways. We're gonna do shout outs. We may do something, a special, some kind of special video that you guys want me to do. Who knows what we might do, but we gotta get to those 1,000 subscribers soon. Right now, we're gonna react to the time when I tried to be Spider-Man. Have you ever tried to be a superhero when you were a kid? I think we all have. I want to be Batman. I like, I'm a Dark Knight kind of guy. Riding in the dark, saving people. But anyway, let's check it out. Let's see what this is about. Let's see what happened when he tried to be Spider-Man. Let's do it. There was a time in my life when I tried to be Spider-Man. There ain't nothing wrong with that. Let's start back in 2003. <laughs> Back then, there were no computers, at least in my vicinity. I mean, there were, but I didn't have any access to them. Nor the right. internet. Oh boy, I've never even heard of that. Oh, before. no internet. Nor sucks. did I have any video game console. What? Except for the cheaper problem, this Nintendo 65, which could only play Mario. Nintendo 65? So whenever I get never heard of that one. Draw, watch TV, play Legos, or play with my friends. I mean, Be, there play with imaginary characters? For entertainment, like we have today. I mean, you can't just open up Instagram or Facebook or YouTube. That's true. I lived those lives when I was a kid. So if you want to I feel talk you. to somebody, you can't text him, bro. Nope. You gotta do this. Walk or bike. Going out into the real world, meet other live human beings, Jesus, and you gotta say stuff to them. Like, hello there. Yeah, anyways, that was the thing right there. So my wonderful dad thought I should have more electronic entertainment options in my house. All right. So he bought me this device. What was it? This device called the DVD player. Ooh, I had so some of those. First century kids out there who have no idea what this thing is. The DVD you watch Spider-Man. Electronic device thingy that was used by humanity to play video or movies. Or what do we like? You do that by inserting the I had a VHS player. Discs which are round, flashy. Wow, and it's magic. I'd rather eat the donut, man. The device to play your video or your movie. Good to gosh, you shouldn't scratch them or drop them on the ground. Cause Don't you scratch have to it. Drop your CD on your T-shirt thousand four hundred and forty-four times before you put them back in, or even put a wonderful <laughs> message on your TV. Screen. Smooth it out. So anyway, just not so down. this DVD player and a couple of CDs, which are mostly Disney cartoons, and there's one movie called Spider-Man. Ah. Uh. I like Spider-Man. I've never I do. seen any superhero movies back then. Really? The first. Wow. Holy shit, I loved it. <laughs> I loved it so much. I watched that film more than a hundred times, and I'm not kidding. You didn't try to go bit by spiders, I did you? Think about that movie: the red and the blue suit, the web slinging, the climbing walls, jumping from building to building, the cool <laughs> and the part where Peter Parker designs his own suit. <laughs> Holy freaking shit! <laughs> that's my favorite part. <laughs> Every time I see that scene, I grab a piece of paper and draw. But the thing was, it wasn't enough for me to just draw what I see. You had to be him. I had to do something more. You had to be him, I'm Spider-Man. I had to be Spider-Man. Boom. This was the biggest project of my life, to be Spider-Man. And I can't do it Lives depended on it, man. So I called my friend, G. What's up, G? G is pretty much like me. He draws and he loves superheroes. He was a big fan of Nothing Superman. Nothing wrong with that at all. He had his own Superman project going on on the side. He even showed up to a place once wearing a red cape and an underwear. <laughs> and an underwear. <laughs> the plan was simple. Find a radioactive spider and make it bite me. Oh no, this is horrible. The next morning. Yeah, it was very simple. And there was a cave near my Here's house. Here's a brown lacoose. Like a real cave, it's like a man-made cave intended for show. But nevertheless, there were lots of spiders in there. Every day after school, me and G would go there looking for spiders. Hopefully radioactive. There were lots of spiders oh. in that cave. Big ones, small Hopefully ones, Hopefully yeah. radioactive. Catch that, put them on a hand, and wait for it to bite. Oh no. Usually that doesn't happen because those things just walk away. Like they're too cool. This to sounds spiders. horrible. Cares about being <laughs> this is horrible. Spiders. In the meantime, I started to practice my spidey skills, such as jumping up and down the wall, trying to stick onto walls that did not go well. <laughs> trying to that didn't work well either. And Spidey said, God, I was really good at this thing because it really saved me during those times. <laughs> this is funny. A ninja in the class instead of actually listening to the class. <laughs> Stupid classes. Oh. Months and months went by, and the results we were getting were not promising. 
Our mission to find a spider to turn me no into radio spider act deadly. radioactive ones, man. All we ended up collecting was a box full of spiders and web strings in them that were of no use. And finally, it all went downstream completely when uh -oh. Lee's mom came to know about our mission. And oh. the truth bomb on us. Oh. Pete, we gotta talk. Kryptonite. Uh, that's spider. That's Superman. My bad. When you get bit by a spider, you don't turn into sp uh huh. You know, you know, when you get bit by a spider. You might die or get sick. Spider man. You know, it, it cannot become sp You know those wet things that made a spider saliva, right? Say what? Yeah, you know, spiders. It comes out of their mouth. Right. Saliva. Spider saliva. It's, it's made out of spider saliva. Yeah. Yeah. Ew, jeez. Ah, God. That's spider. <laughs> oh, spider man made out of saliva. Jeez. And there it all ended. My dream. The dream. Spider man. The dream's Years over. Years went by. The dream's over. My unfulfilled dream to become a superhero. The dream's I over. Superhero movies, you know, because I kind of liked them. Those characters, even though they failed from time and time again, like me, they had one thing. What? They kept trying. And you that's gotta keep trying. That's all they'll ever have. You gotta keep trying. A chance to try. I am Iron Man. Oh, he wants to be Iron Man now? <laughs> the time I try to be Iron Man. <laughs> oh, that was good. That's the first time I've watched Kish. I'm subscribing. I'm going to watch his videos. Um, yeah, let's not go to the cave and try to get bit by uh, spiders. That's probably not going to be uh, a good thing. It's a good thing he didn't try to be like an invisible man and try to be invisible because I don't know how you would do that. But anyway, uh, have you ever tried to be a superhero? Have you done any extreme measures to become a superhero? If you have a good story or a bad story, comment below. I want to read it. I want to respond. But anyway, I'm going to leave a link to this video below. If you haven't, check it out. It's good. Check his channel. Subscribe to his channel. He deserves it because he's fantastic. Just like Max Reaction and the MRA crew. If you want to be MRA, Max Reaction Army, if you want to be part of that, like I said, hit that subscribe button. Uh, we do a lot of live hangouts, so you guys will enjoy that also. But anyway, links and videos are below if you want me to react to it. If you want me to react to it, comment below. But anyway, next time you choose a reaction, you should always, always, always choose Max Reaction because we're taking over YouTube, baby. Peace.